Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am coming at you with a review that was requested about a month ago. Um, it was in the comments down below. I so appreciate it. It got my mind flowing. I forgot all about this particular company. Once she commented down below, I was like, Thank you. Thank you for putting that back on my radar. So this is going to be on a finger comber unit. The particular unit I'm talking about is going to be the Kinky Curly Afro unit. Um, this unit did cost me $78. It is a handcrafted unit and it says it's made with premium synthetic fiber. So this is the unit right here. And as you can see, she is huge. So she's got these little curly tendrils here on the end. And like I mentioned, she is made of synthetic fiber. This is a handcrafted unit, so they do make this um, there. Whenever I got the unit, she came in like a brown box. Um, and once you opened up the box, you know, it came in the regular packaging shipping box. And then inside of that, this came in almost like a shoe light box. More nicer than a shoe box, but I'm trying to give you that actually let me just insert what it came in as you can see it came inside the box and it was just wrapped in tissue paper now I'm gonna be honest I wasn't too fond about that particular piece of it but that's probably just me being me um, before I get into this unit let me just say okay and I know I'm about to have people come at me with this particular information but y'all I'm just trying to inform I'm not trying to throw shade this unit took forever to get to me forever now on the website when i was ordering this on the website it tells you that it takes about seven to ten business days for this to be processed and to be made so they tell you on the website and i read it i did and then when i even clicked on this particular unit which again is the kinky curly afro unit when i clicked on this to order it again there was verbiage letting me know that due to high volume and just like the love and care they put into making the units they are taking about 14 business days to make so there was full transparency on finger combers part i knew about it i knew it was going to take forever from joint my whole point is that it took forever and if you're like me when you order a wig really when you order anything but especially when you order a wig you want that thing the next day fyi this is my next day don't order it expecting to get it next day or even a week it's going to take you a while i think they now have the option of where you can express um you can actually ask for it to be rushed but you are paying i think about 25 dollars for that service and again i don't even know how much quicker that would be but i just want to let y'all know again no shade just facts this unit took forever <sighs> okay just to let you know about that now again my unit is the kinky curly afro unit and i got mine in what it says is considered to be similar to a 1b the reason why i got this unit versus the normal is because i have my tony daily wig which looks exactly like my hair so i was kind of looking for something bigger fuller and not as defined and so this is why i decided to go with this unit here and just a little bit about the construction of um, the wig it does have the standard combs in the front comb in the back and they're long combs so there's a long comb in the front and a long comb in the back and it does have the adjustable straps for you this is not what i consider big head friendly um i have to actually make it so that the adjustable straps aren't even connected they're just flapping to be able to fit this on my head now i do have a big head but just to fyi I would not consider this big head friendly. Um, I will say it does look like the construction of the wig is very nice. The only thing I don't like is that there's this part right here down the middle. And it starts at the top and it just works its way to almost where it looks like you could just easily part it into two sections. I don't like that. I'm not feeling it too much. But because it's so the hair is so fluffy, um, I'm thinking I could easily just kind of fluff that out. Um, and keep it moving. So let me go ahead and put on this unit. Okay. And what I did was I left out um, the front sections of my hair, just like a, a nice little thin section, and I actually did Bantu knots because I'm hoping that will match the texture of this wig. So we shall see. Okay. So let's keep this on my hair here. Yeah, it's, I just don't think it's big head friendly. You can definitely work your magic on it, but just be prepared. 
a snug fit which is normally how full wigs are they're normally pretty snug I'm sure it's because they're hoping to help you keep this bad boy in place okay let me get my mirror out okay <laughs> here we are just on full fluffy the texture of it is very cottony I would say um, it's very soft not like a silky soft but just that cottony type of soft it is a very comfortable feel like it doesn't feel like a marley hair or anything like that it's a nice fluffy cottony feel what I'm going to do is go ahead and take out these bantu knots okay guys so I'm back and um, this is what I could come up with at this particular point in time um, all I did was pretty much I did uh, I think I figured out two things one the Bantu knot is not the best way to do it so that my hair blends in I have to figure out that a little bit better but it did not give me the look I was going for um, also I had a little bit too much hair out so what I had to do was kind of thin out the hair that I had up front and put that back underneath uh, the wig cap and what I've done at this point is just take a headband and almost kind of give myself like a pompadour kind of look here where I've just kind of swooped my hair back pushed it up a little bit so you got a little bit of definition and then just fluff the rest of this out um, I will be honest I feel a little bit like uh, what's the princess from coming to America when she's hopping on one foot and she's like oh 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 that's what I feel like at this particular point I definitely need to work with this I can see the potential because it's big beautiful gorgeous hair but this is going to take me a little bit more effort to blend than say my uh, Tony Daly wig I think what um, I think the reason is because this is more of a blowout look versus the kinky curly look so as far as blending with my hair just right off the bat it's not gonna do that so I probably am gonna have to you maybe put a little bit of heat to my own hair I don't know I have to be honest say this is out of my realm um, but to just get back on the wig itself um, the texture the more you mess with the more you do love the texture it does have a very pillowy soft um, texture that just kind of moves and flows with the wind I mean as, as you can see it's very bouncy has a lot of movement um, and it is a lot of hair so this is the hair um, just pushed back to the front but this is it from the front this is it from the side and I hope I can stay in frame but this is it from the back and then this is it from the other side so you're getting a whole lot of hair um, I'm not too sure what to do with these little curly things on the end I'm, I'm afraid of pulling them all out because it does give a little bit of definition but um, I, I don't know guys this is definitely going to be one of those that I have to work with and play with I do love it because I can easily see me being able to put it into maybe like a ponytail and things like that that I'm really excited about um, I just don't know um, I have to be honest and say I'm a little bit on the fence with this particular wig and it could honestly just be because I'm a little bit overwhelmed with the possibilities of what to do with it um, but as far as the uh, wig itself like I mentioned standard construction um, small caps very snug as are most full caps um, a little bit sparse in certain areas which I know y'all are like how can it be huge and sparse there's just areas that I feel like are just a little bit thinner than others but again because there is so much hair you can definitely fluff it out and cover those areas up um, it is a lot of hair <laughs> um, and I'm a big hair don't care type of girl y'all like the bigger the better I love it this is just it just has me a little bit overwhelmed um, so I have to figure out what I'm going to do with it um, but I will definitely come back at a later date once I figure out what to do with it I'll come back with another video um, and I think at that point maybe we'll have a different impression of it but right now on the fence on the fence all right guys so it's probably been about three or four weeks um, since I initially got this uh, kinky curly unit um, I'm sorry, Kinky Curly Afro Unit from Finger Comer. And I thought I'd just kind of put it all together just so that you guys can see my initial reaction, mid-range, and now. And I'll have to be honest and say, 
the more I wear this unit, the more I have grown to like it. Um, we're just kind of, me and her, we're just kind of vibing each other, you know? Like, she tells me what she doesn't want to do. I tell her what I'm trying to do. Sometimes it works out, sometimes it doesn't. I mean, you know, most cases, I tend to just kind of let it do its thing. Um, and this is kind of where I've come to with this unit. Um, I will say, overall... To be fair, I will admit that I have been spoiled by my Tony wig. And I know, hold on, boy, y'all come for me. I know what you're saying. Not the same wig, not the same type of wig, not the same look. I get it. And in reality, I might have had a different experience if maybe I would have got the actual finger comber unit from finger comber because I think that's probably more along the lines of the Tony unit. Um, so I would definitely agree with you there. But what I'm trying to say is, in my opinion, Curly or afro wigs are easier and more low maintenance than different wigs. For me, a curly wig is so easy to throw on and just go out the door. Now, of course, yes, you can style her, you can tweak her, you can do whatever you want to if you wanted to. But worst case scenario, you toss her on, you fluff her out, and you keep on going. You don't have to worry so much about your edges and that demarcation line and seeing where the lace ends and your scalp begins. You don't have to worry so much with that because it's curly, it's big, I mean it's messy. You can cover all that up with curls and it looks just fine. So my problem with this particular unit is it's not low maintenance. And it's not low maintenance if you want it to be, it's just not low maintenance. This is a wig you're going to have to work with every single time. And I do think that the finished looks that I've come up with do end up looking beautiful, but they take a little bit of work. <laughs> you know, they take a little bit of time and effort, and to be fair, that's not what I was looking for. Now, I will also say, I'm just not a fan of the construction of this wig. Um, I just feel like for a wig that cost me almost $100 once you threw in the shipping and handling, and I know, I know, that ain't really, some of y'all are probably thinking that's just chump change, but not this diva not this diva that was an investment for me and for me to have spent that much money on this wig the time it took for it to get to me again transparency from the beginning they let me know from jump how long it was going to take but it still took a long time and the construction of this wig I just don't think it's that far up there as far as quality wise. Um, I mean, you know, like I showed you in the beginning or earlier part of this video, I mean, there's a lot of area in the back where I can just see like straight down the middle of this wig and it takes a lot of fluffing with my fingers to cover that up. It just doesn't seem sturdy. It doesn't seem like it's going to last me a long time. I just don't think it was worth the money I spent on it. Now, you know what? I try to be realistic and I'm trying to be fair with you guys and with myself because I don't want to be that person that blames the wig or the company because they chose something wrong. So I can admit that the vision in my head was probably not this wig, you know, it, it just wasn't this wig. So I do plan on um, trying some more finger combing units because there is another one. I think that's like the Pillow Soft Afro, I believe it is. Looks absolutely gorgeous and I definitely want to give it a try. So I'm not giving up on finger comber. I will have to say though, this unit, the Kinky Curly Afro unit, not one of my favorites. Um, now, like I mentioned, I did spend a little bit of money on this. So I'm going to continue to work with it, continue to wear it because don't get it twisted mama can work out some wigs but I wouldn't buy it again I, I wouldn't buy it again I just really wouldn't I think if you're just looking for a big beautiful afro uh, big hair don't care you know what I'm saying you can find this same style or the same look and effect with other lace front wigs out there and this isn't a lace front but I'm just saying you could find the same look in other synthetic lace front wigs or even full cap wigs out there you don't have to go to this one um, but if you like finger comber or if you're just you just like the brand um, or if this is the exact look you were going for um, then definitely give it a try I mean you know definitely I would have to say I wouldn't recommend it unless this is specifically what you were looking for so 
I really hope this information helps someone out there. I mean, wigs, the reviews can't always be good, you know, and this is really no reflection on finger comber. It's just how I feel about this particular unit. And I'm sure there's other people out there who wanted to see what this unit was like before they tried it. So I hope this information helped. And if it did, definitely give this video a thumbs up. While you're here on my channel, definitely take a look around. I do have some other wig reviews, so check those out. Check them out. And if you like what you're seeing, hit that subscribe button, and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye.